Welcome to American Front Porch, Mid-Americana and Acoustic Traditions with Swamp Weiss and Video Bob Whiteside. Well, Bean Blossom is eclectic. You can get, you know, you can get vittles and then right next door over here, oh there's somebody, oh yeah. Yeah. Here you can get crepes. And uh, this reminds me of like an Alaskan boomtown. But uh, yeah, there's vittles, there's crepes, or crepes. And of course, with it, it's a good idea to order up a crepe and then get some hog fries to go with it. Yeah. My report for our <laughs> web page there. Yeah. Or something, you get yourself over there. Or we need you. We want to see if this bring ain't the biggest, biggest uh, jam session we've ever had. Tell them to bring some mandolins too. What yeah, bring your mandolins. Come right on. What time is it? Just as soon as we get through here, we're going to hit right on over there. Then yeah, we'll, we'll be through here in about a half hour. Yeah. And we'll hit right on over there. We generally always have a jam session going on when the sun just about ready to go down, and then won't be long until it'll be cut off there. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, let's, let's go with a good banjo number now. What's going to be the number today? Number one, the bluegrass breakdown.
Thank you, thank you, Lord. That's fine. Thank you. What's your name? Dan. What, Ben? Dan. 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 What's your last name? Dan. Dan Petty. Well, that's fine dancing there. Yeah. You hang in there, boy. What state are you from? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. <laughs> Boy, you've got some competition now. John Hartford was a, a, not really quite a bluegrass purist. He could be, and he had a love of all of that, but that wasn't who he really was. I mean, he was he was more than that. Yeah. Uh, and in the Bill Monroe Festival, when Bill Monroe was still around, really was about bluegrass. I yeah. Mean, uh, and you you went sure. to one or two of those. I think. Oh yeah, I went to many of them. Went to them for about ten years. Went how how many of those uh, Bill was alive for? The, I saw him ten years in a row, basically. Oh really? Them, yeah. Wow. Early seventies till eighties, I think. So that was a lot more of a purist uh, thing, where people yeah. were going to. Yeah. Uh, and then there was the, the entertainment was usually was always Bill Monroe, Ralph Stanley, Jim and Jesse, the Osmond Brothers, kind of names like that. So we we trucked on off to the first Giant Hartford Festival. And what, two guys were camping just over on the other side, and when we started playing, they walked over and it was an upright bass and a mandolin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it just and they were the only we were the only people there yeah. and at that point. There was like. Maybe one RV with some people hanging out some laundry, and that was, that was about it. They came along and joined us in mid-song, and just never missed a beat. Those cold, cold kisses that you gave me all the time me you found somebody new Tomorrow's just another lonesome day And I know you want me far away Hey, you don't love me anymore Another lonesome day, and I know you want me far away. You don't love me anymore, my darling. I'm just used to being. Yeah. I'm Swamp Weeds. I'm from Greenville, Illinois. <laughs> David Johnson, Mount Juliet, Tennessee. John Cole, Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm Bill Monroe, Jr. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm Wayne Shell. <laughs> I'm from Georgieville. Okay. Yeah, and I'm John Nell from Alton. <laughs> I'd watch those trains as they roll by And the 
whistles on some sound You're from miles around But you moved across the Greenville dress behind Now the whistles don't sound like they used to Lately not many trains roll by Hard times across the lane need to work for the railroad hand And the Greenville dress and down on the seams I sing a voice on that every day. He's in the lead on that chorus like a little tune. On the riverbank I'd stand with a cane pole in my hand And watch those freight trains up against the sky with the black smoke trailing back as I moved across the track that led across the green to Trestle High. Oh, the whistle don't sound like they used to. Lately, not many trains go by. Our times grow to land. We know we're for the railroad man. And the green to Trestle now don't seem so high.
city limits, I'm starting out brand new. Hell city limits, I see your sign. Left all my worries way behind. Left all my troubles and heartaches here too. Hell city limits, I'm starting out brand new. Some sweet day that turns 
applause you guys have, I can't believe that but there it is the swamp you know. master the beetle master I know man. I've never heard swamp sing at such high volume wow. usually he's kind of a we got him pumped up quiet right? oh, yeah. he's got his adrenaline rolling that sounds great <laughs>
Miserable. We had was. to sleep in the car, sitting up in this little I think, car. I think it rained. Was it the year it rained? Okay. Yeah, and then there was a thunderstorm, and a lightning hit like about 10 feet away from the car, and uh, nearly jumped out of our skin. You know, at that point, about three in the morning, I thought, whose idea was this? And, oh, <laughs> it was my idea. So. <laughs> Take on the side of town.